As we begin to fill in the background, we start with what is called the aura. This is a, a halo or an aura of background colored tiles that we're going to place all around the main figure of the mosaic. Most Roman and classical mosaics have this aura, and what it does effectively is it helps to bring forward the main subject of the mosaic. So it helps it to contrast a little bit out of the background. So we place a row of glue around the outside of the figure and then just start following directly with the tiles in the background color. As we move to the background, notice that I have changed glue color from black to white. The color of the glue uh, has an effect on what color you see in between the tiles. In the main figure, where the colors are bright and dark, we have a dark glue which helps the colors to shine a little bit stronger, it helps them to pop out a little bit more. Whereas in the background, where the color is, uh, is light and clear, we have a light colored glue so that the lines and spaces in between are less noticeable and your background ends up being more of a solid homogeneous color. Once finished the aura, notice as I'm going through I'm selecting tiles that are from my stack of, of pre-cut tiles that are more or less the right shape. I haven't actually pre-cut any of them. Some of them are a little bit bigger, some of them are a little bit skinnier, but that's okay. It all works out in the end. Um, once we finish the aura, we've done a single line of tiles all the way around the fish, then we just complete the mosaic by filling in going straight across with our tiles, cutting where we need to in order to meet where the intersection is of the main subject and the background tiles. And don't forget to keep cleaning the extra glue where it's come off with your stick. When it gets, starts getting a little bit crunchy, just go straight ahead and start cleaning that off. <laughs>